All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how you can charge this with one of these. Shocking. Okay, this adapter has uh, several uses and we're gonna highlight two of those uses on today's uh, show or video here. Um, this uh, adapter, we've got all the details down in the description and links and all that kind of fun stuff. Essentially, it's a J1772 to Tesla. So you can use the uh, Tesla mobile connector that comes with every Tesla and charge virtually any other EV out there on J1772. Uh, I mentioned there are two major uses for this. One of which is, let's say you have a Tesla at home, you got a shiny new Tesla or older Tesla, and you also have a different EV make and model, say an ID4 or a Mustang Mach-E, or like this, we have a Chevrolet Bolt, and you've got a two EV household, but you've only got one uh, 1450 uh, charging setup, or maybe your, your electrical system can only handle a 100 amp system and you can't have two in the same garage. We're lucky enough to have two, um, but some people may not. So, how do you share your Tesla connector with your other EV? We're gonna show you in this video, and we're gonna be using this adapter, and uh, next up in the video, I'm gonna show you everything about this adapter, the build quality, what uh, it looks like, and, and the features, and all that stuff. So, uh, hang on a second. Okay, before we uh, plug this thing in and test this thing out on an actual car, we're gonna be using a Chevrolet Bolt uh, from 2019. It is CCS. Uh, compatible, but that's not uh, really relevant for this. So we are taking a look at this uh, Lectron um, Lec Tess J1772 USA is the uh, model on here. And I'm guessing that makes a lot of sense because this is, uh, you know, J1772 to Tesla. So my first impressions of this thing, the quality, the, the it's solid. I mean, it's very, very well built. Um, I have the Lectron or uh, CTEC CCS adapter, so I I'm familiar with the company and uh, the products that they're pumping out are, are top notch. And this is no exception. This uh, really, really feels solid. I like this grippy part here. That's really cool because when you're uh, pulling a J1772 out, um, you need that extra grip. So since we're on this part of the, uh, the adapter, let's take a look. It has a rubber cap on it, which is nice. It has... Uh, a little uh, uh, attachment here so it doesn't fall out or, or get lost or anything like that. Um, the spring action on the J1772 is very solid, very familiar feeling. It does have a hole right here, so you can uh, lock it if you're uh, using this thing in public, maybe at a destination charger uh, for Tesla. So right here, I mean, looks like any J1772, very solid feeling. Um, Definitely good build quality so far. I like what I'm seeing here. Um, and again, the cap just goes right back on. Um, really easy to throw this thing in your trunk and feel solid and feel good about it because uh, both both caps are end, uh, both ends are capped, so that's really nice. Um, solid, solid cable in the, the middle here. Uh, steel cable here, I notice, holding the Tesla uh, cap on. Let's take a look at that. You do have to hold, hold this button down to take the cap off. And, uh, this is a hard plastic as opposed to rubber on the other side. Now this is where I'm really impressed. Those of you that have a Tesla and you look at this port and it looks like the one on the car itself, you're gonna notice that these poles here are, are metal on this. Uh, they are plastic on the actual car. So that right there, I'm not an engineer or anything, it just feels more solid. Um, it's gotta be better. It's gotta be better. So they did not, uh, spare any expense on the build quality of this this item. So there you go. That's what this thing looks like on either end um, It's got a cap on the um, Tesla side, which is pretty cool um, To put it back on you do also have to push the uh, red button. Oh, by the way this red um, This this red button here is very solid. I mean the spring action on this is is definitely top-notch So you got to do that to open it and you also have to do it to close it and uh, so there you go, the uh, the LEC, uh, the, the Electron LEC Test J1772 USA. That's the look at the uh, device itself. Let's go plug it in and see how it works. 
So this is a little weird on our Tesla channel. I am sitting in our 2019 Chevrolet Bolt with a B. Um, and so let's take a look at the settings that we have so far uh, to get this thing going and uh, charging. Because we're at home, I had to uh, check the box here or uh, touch the box here that says immediate because uh, normally we have it set to um, charge after 10 p.m. for lower rates. Um, but because of this test is during the day, we uh, have it set up for immediate. Let's take a look at the dash settings here. Um, we are at 70 miles state of charge on the battery. So when we plug in, we'll see how things look. All right, so here's our setup for our Tesla. We've got uh, the, the Tesla wall connector or portable uh, connector that came with our Model 3. We've got our little setup here uh, to uh, coil the uh, cable as well as put the nozzle into. And we use this on a regular basis every single day uh, for our Tesla Model 3. And we're gonna charge our Chevrolet Bolt using this along with this, the Electron J1772 to Tesla uh, adapter or converter. Now, some people, uh, may not have the capability of having two uh, separate 50 amp locations. We actually have another one that we use on a daily basis for our Chevrolet Bolt. It's a Clipper Creek, rock solid situation. Um, but some cases you might have maybe like a 100 amp um, box. We've got a 200 amp service, so we, uh, we can actually have two safely. Um, but some people may not have that option. So you're gonna wanna share or you're gonna have to share. And so how do you do that if you've got a Tesla Model 3 or Y or S or whatever, along with another uh, EV? In our case, we've got a Chevrolet Bolt, only for a few more months now. So this actually works out. We'll be able to test this uh, with the Chevrolet Bolt. So let's get this thing plugged in and uh, see how it looks. All right, so we've got our adapter. We're gonna plug it into this, and then we're gonna plug it into the bolt, and we're gonna see what kind of uh, rates we get and uh, see how it charges and see how this whole thing works. So we're gonna first do this. This tab will come off, hopefully. There we go. And then this side, really elegant design to be honest. All right, got this, we gotta uncoil it. So it'll reach over to the bolt. And uh, let's plug her in. Plug in the, the, the Tesla side right here like this. Maybe you have to, there we go. You have to push on the button to slide this in. Make sure it's in all the way. Looks like it's pretty solid. Let me turn uh, around the camera and we're gonna plug it into the bolt. Okay, so this is what it looks like uh, plugged into the Tesla side of things on, uh, on the Electron J1772 to a Tesla. And here is the J1772 side and we're gonna plug this in to the bolt. All right, we're plugged in. Let's see if it charges. I hear the uh, Tesla uh, charger just clicked in. It's a, a very slight click. It's not like a clipper creak. You can hear the clipper creak, you know, big loud clunk. With the uh, Tesla one, it's just kind of a little snapping sound. Okay, so we are plugged in. As far as I can tell, we are charging. Let's head inside the car. Okay, inside the Bolt now, we are definitely charging. Um, we got 70 miles on the battery. It is 1027 AM and uh, we'll do it for about an hour and see exactly how fast and how well it does it. And uh, we'll get back to you on the video. This is what it looks like all together, plugged in on the J1772 side. Here's how it connects to the uh, Tesla one. And uh, the entire thing looks like this inside your car or plugged into your car. Quick update while we are actually charging, we're three uh, miles into the state of charge and I forgot to uh, show you exactly uh, just how fast we're uh, charging. Looks like we're at seven kilowatts, which um, is not bad at all considering it's um, going through a uh, an adapter and everything. So uh, you're gonna get decent charging speeds out of this thing. Oh, just dropped a six as we're talking, but uh, decent charging speeds out of this. Uh, adapter using the uh, Tesla, uh, the Tesla uh, travel connector or portable connector. So uh, we're gonna let this run for a little bit. Um, it's gonna be about a 45 minute run because I just realized I gotta pick up my son from school, um, but uh, he's got an early day. So uh, there you go. It is uh, definitely charging. It's charging pretty fast. And uh, there is your, your quick speed update or amount of power being dumped into the car update. And what about heat? Uh, that's probably a concern of yours. What kind of heat uh, is this thing uh, generating? So let's go through the, the, the setup here. 
Um, this cable, which is the Tesla cable, is slightly warm. I mean, we're only about five or 10 minutes into this, but uh, so that's probably normal. Um, so this part is just slightly warm. Handle is cold. Now we're getting back up into the adapter. This is ice cold, like nothing added. And here's the wire part of this one. I can't even, maybe slightly, ever so slightly warm. And then this handle is ice cold. It's, it's like nothing's going on. So it definitely handles um, everything pretty well. Like I said, this is the warmest part right here. And that's the Tesla side of things. Okay, we are at the uh, 45 minute mark. I wanted to do a quick update. We have uh, added 20 miles of range. We are still rocking seven kilowatts. And uh, so there's our update at 45 minutes. I'm gonna go check the heat cycle on the uh, cable as well. Okay, so this cable is still the same uh, heat, slightly warm to the touch. And now this one is even less, I'd say slightly warm to the touch, um, but like just slightly more than room temperature. This part's cold, this part's cold. So it's really just the cables, very slightly warm, slightly more than room temperature. It's uh, 70 degrees outside. And then this one's probably the warmest, which is the Tesla cable. So there's your, uh, your heat part of the video. So clearly you don't want to supercharge with this. Wait, wait what are you doing? What, what am I doing? Hey, no, no, no stop, stop, no, no. <laughs> okay, so a uh, little over dramatic there, but uh, definitely uh, you don't want to use this adapter for supercharging. Uh, I didn't try it. I didn't want to risk it, but here's what I think would happen. You'd probably plug it in. Nothing would happen because uh, the, the Tesla supercharger network actually hits the mothership, checks your VIN, checks to see that you're a Tesla, and then goes ahead and uh, says, okay, go ahead and supercharge or whatever. Uh, this is clearly an AC device and supercharging is DC, so bad things could happen if it was authenticated, but uh, there you go, a little, uh, a little acting for you. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, you've got all the details about this particular adapter. Don't forget, you can also use it uh, at destination chargers, usually found at hotels, but they're all over the place as well. You can check your, your favorite app, plug share or whatever, and uh, use it on destination chargers. So throw it in the trunk uh, on road trips as well. If you're in another EV, you know, Mach-E, uh, Porsche Taycan, ID4, a um, lot of good stuff out there these days for, uh, for EVs. It's not just all about Tesla, and I know that. Uh, uh, so throw that in your trunk if you've got another EV and you can charge on those destination chargers. Just not superchargers. <laughs> All right. Thanks again for watching another Tesla Tips and Trips video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell and all that fun stuff. If you've gone this far in the video, might as well like it, right? Just, just hit the like and uh, makes everybody happier. So uh, thank you so much, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.